Welcome back everybody, I hope you're having a beautiful day. The video you're about to watch I filmed yesterday, and it's a very rare occurrence for the Vinci channel. It's an entirely wholesome video, which if you ask me is definitely long overdue. Also, I read the top posts on the subreddit, so a lot of these we have read in wholesome meme segments before, but I feel like it doesn't matter too much with wholesome memes. I think that's all I needed to tell you guys. So with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful time. I go to the same gas station every day after work for beer and burritos. Today when I asked for my burritos, the guy said, they're hot. I knew you'd be here, so I made a fresh batch. And that's the most thoughtful stuff anyone's done for me in a while. That's so beautiful. I found my clone selling nuts in Istanbul. We couldn't communicate, but the whole market was cry laughing. Oh my god, yeah, the resemblance is unbelievable. My adopted dad explaining why it's okay if I want to try and find my real dad. Me waiting for him to finish so I can tell him that I found my real dad the day that he brought me home. Oh, that's so beautiful. So you could be watching it in 50 years time, easy. I'll not be here sadly, but Hagrid will, yes. Oh yeah, rest in peace, Robbie. Sad but beautiful at the same time. Here's a new challenge for all of you bored teens. Take a photo of an area that needs some cleaning or maintenance, and then take a photo after you've done something about it, and I'll post it. Hell yes. Amanda and Rob, are you the guy that keeps congratulating me on Duolingo? Thank you. I I try to keep going even when cause the cheers help. Yeah, that's me. Cool, I wasn't sure if you were just a super cute bot. And what, they got married? That's so cute. Took my six year old to a classmate's birthday party today. He was the only other kid there. His parents thanked me for bringing him and said that he was the only one that their son wanted to invite because my son's the only one in school who's nice to him. Teach your kids not to be a-holes. My grandpa who knows nothing about video games but loves me very much and wants to relate to me. Are you winning? Most haven, loneliest man in the world speaking. Is a Mr. Handsome there? First initials, I am. I am handsome. Thank you, Bart. I really needed that today. I wish that was a real episode. What is your wish, mortal? Well, I wish I could, well, you know, stop second guessing myself. Really? You're wishing for that? Hey, it's my wish, so I get to be the... Did I just not second guess myself? My sociology professor keeps an alphabetic list of new slang terms that he learned from students and I will never get over it. I got a dog to guard the house but it isn't a very scary dog. Mum making food for her children versus for herself. Oh yeah but it does look adorable. Mums are so awesome. Gentlemen it is with great pleasure that I must inform you I'm no longer homeless. That's so amazing. Congratulations. If you ever find yourself cringing at something that you did in the past it means you've grown as a person. Kiss me. I can't darling. You're drunk. It's not right. Even the most sexed up man in all of history knew that taking advantage of women was never okay. Austin Powers the legend. I deleted my weather app because there's a guy in my office that always just tells me anyway. And the app never asked me how my weekend was. Shout out to Bill. My weekend was awesome man. Thank you for asking. Yeah shout out to Bill. My 79 year old grandma has a meme framed. The cutest old person thing of all time. I'm gonna frame a meme. So unbelievably cute. Oh my god yeah, yeah, you've seen me like a thousand times. I've seen the sunset a thousand times too. Still just as beautiful every single time. Ghost of Christmas future, where are you taking me? This is the future. There's still snow, fresh water, clean air. Wow. We beat climate change? Oh my god, this is so wonderful. I love the Mr. Lovenstein comics. Me killing demons in doom. My extremely religious grandmother. Die sinners. Me buying my parents gifts with my first parents paycheck. Surprise, mother father. My older brother walking me to school so mum could sleep in. Six year old me. I'm ready for Halloween. Oh man, I don't have the heart to tell him it was yesterday. Look at me, I'm a tape measure. <laughs> so cute. Wah wah wee wah comics are the best. When your girlfriend takes off her makeup but she looks just as good as when she had it on. It's a me, your girlfriend. You looked beautiful a second ago and now you look beautiful. Last night I was alone in the ER crying, getting an IV put in. Always a challenge because of my veins. And my nurse gave me her phone and told me to go through her Tinder matches and weed them out for her to distract me. What did we do to deserve nurses? Since I started my new job about a month ago, I noticed that one of my co-workers gets treated like an outcast, so I made a point to befriend him. Today he came into my office, handed me a gift card and awkwardly goes, thank you for treating me like a person. I might be crying. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. But also really 
sad at the same time. Thank you for treating me like a person. Like, yeah, the situation is beautiful, but it's sad that they even have to say that. Today at work, I was at the drive-thru and a man at the window wanted to pay for the person behind him. And he said, tell her I think that she's hot. So she pulls up next and I tell her and she rolls her eyes, smiles and says, that's my husband. And if that's not relationship goals, I don't know what is. Oh, I love this subreddit. PBS Kids Show. This program in part is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Four-year-old me. I fixed a pigeon's wing, so we went to fetch his girlfriend. And now they live at my house. The girlfriend pigeon is like, where are we gonna live? And the other pigeon is like, don't worry, I know a place. 30-year-old me around real adults. 30-year-old me around teenagers. Grandma, you need to eat four more bites since you're four years. Me. But I'm five. Grandma. Oh well, I don't think you can eat that much. Me eats five bites to prove her wrong. Grandma. In case you haven't noticed, you've fallen right into my trap. <laughs> Little do you know, I love feeding you food. Your pet decides if you go to heaven or hell. He knows you best. Remember when you left me home alone? Saying that you had to work? Well, they don't have that here. We can play all day long. I missed you. Wow, that's so cute. Goofy God's comics. That was so awesome. I don't don't think I'm pretty. You know how we only sit on pretty flowers? You, my friend, are the prettiest flower. When dad's ordering a drink. And a beer for the little guy over here. Seven-year-old me. Dad, I'm not old enough to drink beer. Dad and the waiter. I'm sad. Leave me alone. No. Thank you. Oh, they're there for each other. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. And they stick out their stomachs. Hell yes. I don't know why everyone makes the Grim Reaper out to be a bad guy. I mean, he's just taking you to the afterlife it's not like he killed you. It's actually quite nice of him to walk you there. Imagine if you had to go alone. Oh my god, I never even thought about that. For some reason, I suppose I thought the Grim Reaper did kill you. But also, there's the Simpsons episode where Homer is the Grim Reaper, and he does kill you. Never mind, I'm death now. Oh, I liked Doug. <laughs> Me watching a simplified science video so I can talk about her interests. My girlfriend, a certified doctor and PhD student. I don't want to be a loser. You're not a loser. You know what a loser is? A real loser is somebody that's so afraid of not winning that they don't even try. The girl I babysit has made me watch Wally at least 10 times. So I assumed it was her favorite movie, but today her mum told me that she watches it because she thinks it's my favorite movie. I've only been watching this because I thought you liked it. Oh my god, something moved our furniture around last night. A ghost. I love it. Yeah, it looks way better. Aw, oh, happy ghost noises. Aw, oh, they liked what I did. I love surprising my humans. My best friend and Day Z partner in crime passed away two days ago. He would have loved this, and I'm not sure I can pick the game back up. Rest in peace. We're sorry for your loss. Please DM us on Twitter. Perhaps we could at least place a cross on his favorite place on the map, if you think he would have liked that. And it could be also a nice place for his gaming friend to go and think of him. Wow, that's so nice of him to do that. Me getting bad grades because of depression. About to be held back in 8th grade. My social studies teacher who changed my F to a B so I could graduate with my class. Me, an introvert. The Uber driver who didn't talk the entire ride. Oh my god, thank you so much. It is with great pleasure that I inform you that my mum is cancer free. Wow, congratulations. That's so good. Every Thursday this little girl gets so excited to stand out on the sidewalk and wave to her favorite trash man. A few weeks back, she decided that she wanted to make him a homemade muffin. To her great surprise, it just so happened that the Thursday that she picked was his birthday. He said it was the only gift that he received. The smile on both of their faces is priceless. Wow, that was so meant to be. I'm so happy we're making this video, guys. Maybe we can do one thing today. Half a thing? Fine. Dear Diary, today I got half dressed. How sad. Dear Diary, today my friend started investing in himself again. One trouser leg at a time. How great. Yeah, that's right though. That's the right attitude. Cats are always right. Having a gay son is like getting a french fry in your onion rings. I didn't ask for it, but hey, I like these too. Being straight and getting hit on by a gay guy is like receiving a lot of money but in the wrong currency. Like, wow, this is useless right now, but if I ever cross the border, I'm gonna be one lucky guy. When you see your attractive but socially anxious friend hit on someone for the first time, what is he doing? He's beginning to believe. 
leave. <laughs> That's so beautiful. You got this. My family leaving me out during presents because I'm too old. My grandma and a gift card. If 99% of people find you unattractive, then around 75 million people still find you attractive. Wow, my self-confidence just shot up. Me, my dad, terrible sleep schedule, supporting the family, spending most of his time at work. How was your day, son? There's nothing cuter than good parents. You're like the coolest person I've ever met and you don't even have to try. I try really hard, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of work that goes into this. I am looking my best. I am working my hardest. I am expressing myself and I am trying my best and I'm doing an amazing job. It's time to go. Was I a good boy? No. I'm told you were the best. Oh, another wholesome Grim Reaper moment. So yeah, they're just taking them to the afterlife. I think the Grim Reaper is a good person. This Indian man and I have an identical commute, but we've never spoken to each other. We get on at the same platform spot and everything. I worked from home yesterday and today he jokingly said, where were you? I was lonely. It was a joke, but I almost cried. How my grandma says I look. Me. I am a ferocious lion. Thank you, grandma. When you've gradually been making health changes and you begin to notice that you're no longer depressed. Hell yeah, good on you for taking the steps in the right direction. Alfred, can Clark sleep over? As I've told you before, Master Wayne, you're a grown man. You can do whatever you want. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my God, this is so amazing. Sleepover time. What the? Coal? And it goes straight in my rock collection. That's a really cute rock collection. And also I love the art style of this. I feel like I can be myself around you. You're weird and quiet around me. Yes. <laughs> dad showing other dads the ribs they grilled over the weekend. Yeah, I'm DTF. Down to finally be in a relationship with someone that actually cares about the relationship and cares about my mental health and supports my dreams. Yeah, I'm DTF. You're not starting over. You're starting with experience. Yeah, that's so true. When you do something really bad in a dream, but you wake up and realize it's all fine. Yeah, or something really sad happens and it takes like all day for you to realize that it didn't happen. A goat which suffers from anxiety only calms down when she's put in her duck costume. This could be the most relatable and cute goat of all time. To everyone who said that I hung my door upside down, I did it so my dogs can see outside. I'm not an idiot, lol. Anything for the beautiful puppy dogs. I went to the zoo today and I'm 99% sure that's not a cheater. Yeah, listen, I feel like you might be right about this one. I went to my brother's graduation and I saw a little girl taking pictures of her dad who just graduated too. It was just them two. I was crying. She was so proud of him. Stand up for what you believe in. I love trains. I also love trains. Anthony Bourdain said, eat at a local restaurant tonight. Get the cream sauce. Have a cold pint at four o'clock in a mostly empty bar. Go somewhere you've never been. Listen to someone you think may have nothing in common with you. Order the steak rare. Eat an oyster. Have a Negroni. Have two. Be open to a world where you may not understand or agree with the person next to you, but have a drink with them anyways. Eat slowly. Tip your server. Check in on your friends. Check in on yourself. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, and on that beautiful note, I feel like we better leave the video there, guys. It was so nice to make a video that was entirely wholesome. We're ending a video and we still have faith in humanity. If you had a good time, make sure you like and subscribe and let me know down below what you thought. And the comment of the day goes to Death Secretary. Hi! That first post is horrifying. First of all, hi, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And secondly, I know exactly what you mean and that's why we made this video today. Nothing horrifying about this and it's so beautiful. And yeah, I'm sure we'll be back to our normal horrifying content tomorrow. And yeah, just thank you for joining me, guys. That was really fun. Make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! <laughs>